nobody was holding her back. So I'm like looking around, so I'm like, what you looking around for? Like I called your mom a bitch. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's notification shout out goes to Brittany. Thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. When I heard your comment, I freaking, <gasps> thank you so much. Get on with y'all, I really, really do. And if you guys wanna be part of the notification squad, all you have to do is just like this video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below and your comment can possibly be the next notification shout out. So today we're gonna be doing a story time on my nanny series. I have a playlist of my nanny series and it goes in order from the very beginning up until now. So I do wanna do a Valentine's look for, I have to put the N in there cause your girl don't open her mouth when I talk sometimes. I'm just like Ch -ch -ch. But I do wanna do a Valentine's inspired look for you guys. Something that I've been wanting to do, I'm gonna keep pulling it off because I'm like, I don't know if I can do it, but you know what? I'm just gonna do it. So sit back, relax, let me know who you guys are watching this with, where you guys are going, if you guys are watching me while you guys are driving. What are you cleaning? If you guys are cleaning, uh, lately I've been on the cleaning kick. So if you guys are cleaning while you guys are watching me, what are you cleaning? Let me know down below. Most importantly, if you're eating, what are you eating? Your girl would love to know. I love you guys so much. And I really do appreciate you guys' love and support. It seriously means a lot to me. So I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys enjoy story time, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. I do appreciate it. Everything I will be using will be linked down below as well. So if you guys see something that I'm using and you guys are curious, it is most likely in my description box. So yeah, check it out. <laughs> All right, so. Let's begin. We left off. I left Tommy's house. I didn't want to be the babysitter. I was pissed. I was like, F you, F you, and I left. Tommy kind of checked in and just messaged me like, hey, want to make sure everything's good. We need to talk tomorrow. So be over here when you wake up. There was a lot of times where Lex should have just kept her mouth closed. I have to remember that I was a child. And there is things when you're older, you see things in a different point of view and you're like, you know what? That was valid. You shouldn't have been doing that. And sometimes you're like, no, that, you know, you were right. I have to remember, and please remember them, you're, that I was, I was young, I was dumb, you know? And there was some things where I'm like, okay, I could have done better, you know? I sleep, I don't even talk to Skillet about like what went down. I'm kind of just like, mad and i'm kind of just like over it it's just one of those things where like you just want to go to sleep and wake up and the next day it just be done with you're just like i just want to go to sleep i just want to go to sleep where you just feel so frustrated you're just done with the day have you guys i feel like i still have those days as a grown-ass adult i'm like okay that's it i'm done i'm done check it out i'm done because sometimes it's just too it's too much so didn't talk to skill about it i was just like mm, i'm just i'm over it i gotta good sleep and I think it was because my mind and body was just like exhausted. I just remember, I don't know if it's about, I don't know if you guys go through this as well, but there has only been like a few times where I feel like, damn, that shower felt amazing. Or damn, I remember when I stretched so good when I was younger and this time, I don't know if it's just me, but I remember I slept good and I was like pissed when I woke up because I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this all over again. I didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with a lot of the things, you guys. I just, I wanted things just to go back to normal. I know that's something I keep repeating, but it's just something that I felt at that age. I just wanted it to be done with. I just, I wanted, I wanted peace already. I just wanted my mom. I wanted, I wanted to wake up to her. I wanted to wake up and hug her and tell her I love her. I didn't want her to be upset with me. I didn't want her to be disappointed. I wanted her to, I just wanted my mom's love. I get up and I tell Skillet if she can give me a ride that I wanted to go back to Tommy's and stuff. I didn't want to push it and stay out later and you know, her be upset and be like, I told you this, you know? As soon as she got up and she was done, she took me over. And I remember being kind of annoyed with Skillet because I feel like she was taking her sweet ass time. I really hate it when you ask a favor of somebody and I feel like they really drag their feet. Ooh, that grinds my gears. I hate asking anyone for favors. Like I will try and do everything I can, everything, okay? I will try and like, I'll, I'll try to exhaust everything before I ask anybody for a favor. 
because I really hate having to rely on somebody and you can't even get upset if they're over there like taking their sweet ass time because they know that you need their help. So I don't know if it's just like a mental thing where I'm like already pissed off or I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or like you're really dragging your feet. So it really pisses me off when I have to ask for a favor because I feel like when it's me, I feel like I'm like, come on, come on, come on. And again, it could be my anxiety, but I feel like when someone asks me for a favor, I feel like I have to like go above and I feel like I have to like hurry up and get it done because I don't want you feeling like you're waiting on me. And there is some times where it feels like I'm not moving fast enough. <laughs> For my mom, I feel like when my mom would ask me a favor, I she would give me so bad anxiety where she'd be like, hurry up. And I'm like, I'm going as fast as I can. But I guess I wasn't because she thought I was dragging my feet. So I think maybe it could be an anxiety thing. So I'm annoyed already. Skillet's like pissing me off. I feel like she's taking too long. Tommy's not even messaging me like, hey, hurry up. I'm just on edge finally skillet is like hurrying up and when she's like finishing doing what she's gonna do and i shouldn't have been annoyed with her because she had her own thing that she you know needed to do so just because like i needed to do something i shouldn't have been rushing her but i was still like uh, i wasn't telling her like hurry up or anything like that it was just like again in here all mental me just being stuck in my head where i was like oh my god so she finally hurries up and we are on our merry way. As we're getting closer to Tommy's skill, it's asking me like if she wants me to get off with her. And I'm like, no, I'm like, dude, like I'm good. I'm just gonna try and talk to Tommy and hopefully she's like not too mad at me. She's telling me like, she's not gonna be mad at you. If anything, hopefully she's just understanding of like where you're coming from and giving me a little pep talk, like of, don't let anyone walk all over you Lex. And I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, being stupid. There's a pack of cigarettes and I ask her if I can just take them. And when I get the rest of my paycheck, like I'll make sure to get her. And she's like, yeah, don't even worry about it, dude. I'm like, okay. So she drops me off. She asks me again, like, do you want me to get off with you? Do you want me just to wait? And I'm like, no, like, it's good. Like, I think I'll be fine. No problem at all. Like, I think I'm going to be good. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. I should have had her get off with me. I should have had her get off with me. But no, I'm always like, benefit of the doubt, bitch. Benefit of the doubt. I walk through the door and, you know, that mama that wanted to get upset because I didn't want her baby. We'll name her Tiffany. Okay, we'll name that Tiffany so I walk in and Tiffany's like this okay I'm not even it doesn't even like register because like I open the door and I just know like I need to talk to Tommy I'm not even like what's going on none of that like so I see her holding something it's like in the, my peripheral I'm not even really paying attention I just see that she's holding something and I don't even really look at her I just ask where's Tommy in the back like that and so I'm like okay so I'm walking towards the back and I see Tommy and she's in the restroom and she's like doing her eyeliner and she's asking me if I slept good. I'm like, yeah, like I slept all right. Are we going to talk? And she's like, I'm ready when you, whenever you want to talk, I'm ready. So she seems pretty like calm. So I'm like, okay, nervous because even though I was pissed, I still should have respected Tommy because I was in her house. Even though I am no babysitter, or any of that, I am still in her her house so i was just like mm, all these feelings i felt like my tail was in between my legs and i felt embarrassed i felt i didn't just like embarrass like myself by being rowdy like i embarrassed tommy because how i got in i was very mouthy and even though like it wasn't cool of tommy to expect me to watch like 10 kids and like be changing diapers and stuff like that and having to deal with all the other drama me getting crazy like there was a way of handling it and I feel like I should have like dealt with it better. You know what I'm saying? So I had my, my tail between my legs and I felt kind of stupid. So I'm telling her like, okay, like, yeah, like <laughs> I want to talk. So she's first like was like, yeah, like let's talk. And then she like kind of stops me and she's like, look, I should have let you know that you were going to be babysitting. I just assumed that since you were gonna be in the room, that you were cool with watching all the kids. Now I shouldn't have expected you to watch all of them, but I just thought that it was gonna be okay. And she was pretty much telling me that she didn't know that there was gonna be like so many babies that 
some of her friends brought their kids and so she didn't know it was she didn't know it was gonna be that many kids and so she was like you know like i apologize too so i feel kind of like yeah like i just because like it was just a lot and i didn't think it was cool and there was like boys that were in the room that were like throwing stuff around and it was just like it was just like a lot i feel like very overwhelmed i felt very stressed they weren't listening you know when you have like a lot of kids in a room like jumping on the bed throwing stuff and just like it was just it was just a lot and what really made me mad is that tiffany's daughter didn't want to watch the baby and it's like why am i watching your sibling so i was like talking to her she's like yeah like i don't know tiffany's out there right now we can talk to tiffany about it too because i was telling tiffany that she owed you an apology so i'm like oh like for what she's like let's just go so as we're walking over there i just started getting like a weird like feeling like if you guys have anxiety imagine just like feeling like you're walking onto a stage okay and you feel like everyone's looking at you even though there was like not a lot of people in the sala it was just tiffany and her kids just imagine when you're walking onto a stage and you feel like oh everyone's just like on you you feel like you forgot to put on deodorant or something and you just feel like oh something's about to go down and you're just kind of like huh like right so remember when we walked in the house tiffany was reading a book she was holding something, okay? But we didn't look. We didn't pay attention to what Mrs. Tiffany was reading, right? We were just kind of like focused on like, where's Tommy? We need to talk to Tommy. So as we're going into the corner, I see that my backpack is on the floor. And I see that her kid has like my chapstick, like lip gloss. And so I'm kind of like, in my head, I want to like be like, what the f but like I'm having to compose myself because I had just apologized to Tommy. We kind of just had like a little heart to heart and I don't want to just like go 10 steps back. So as I'm looking, I see that like my whole backpack is like gone through. Like my clothes are on the floor. I see that like my underwear is on the floor and that's embarrassing. I see that like it's just, it, I'm very overwhelmed where I'm like, and I'm looking at everything and I'm making eye contact with eye contact with tiffany and i just like want to beat her ass like i literally just want to just like kick her in the face and just start because i am just i hate those type of parents where you see that your kid is doing something and you're just sitting back and you're just like kids will be kids like why you do that like that is just so annoying so i know she sees me she sees me looking and i'm just it's embarrassing i got my freaking underwear there my underwears have holes in them like i'm not even joking like my underwear had holes might as well just like clip it off alexis like make it a thanga because it had so many holes okay and i just feel stupid embarrassed and i'm just like uh, looking at her and my, my palms are just like getting beads of sweat where like i'm going like this just to like because my, my fingers are getting like numb where i like i'm feeling embarrassed i'm pissed i'm just like I look up at Tommy and she just looks at me and she's like, like making a face where it's like, like she knows too, but she just don't got the balls enough to be like, yo, like what the hell? Like, what are you doing? Like, and I really hate that. He really hate where it's just like, there's certain people that Tommy just felt like she just couldn't say anything to, which I don't know why. I don't know if it was like a respect thing or I don't know if it's like he was intimidated or I don't know what it was. But I was really expecting her to like say something and she really just gave me that look of like Kids will be kids and It was just embarrassing because we got that little teen and she just like I'm embarrassed because I'm like is that underwear even clean all these emotions are just rushing through me and I'm just like When is it gonna stop? It's constantly it feels like this is a movie where it's just like Stay tuned for next week. Like, I feel like her is the cowardly dog where it's like always something. Like, we can never just be chill. We can never just have like a chill day. So I drop to my knees and I just start picking up everything. And I drop to my knees very dramatically. Very dramatically, you guys, because again, I'm like, like, dude, like this is so annoying. Like, this is too much. So as I'm picking up the clothes, I am making my little comments of like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? You know, like that. And Tiffany wants to be stupid and put her foot out towards where I am. And she said, you say something like that. And 
there was times where I would get stupid and I would get like malady. And then there was times where I just felt like I couldn't. I feel like I had to take a lot of it because this is a grown ass woman. And even if I get like some hits in, it's not gonna be fair because obviously Tommy ain't gonna do nothing. And it's not just gonna be the mom I'm hitting. I'm hitting the like the daughter gonna get in it too. Like, so I tell her, I'm like, I didn't say nothing. She's like, that's what I thought. And so I look up and this bitch has my diary. This bitch has my diary. That's what she was holding this whole time. I don't know why, like in the my eye couldn't catch what she was. I don't know what I thought it was that she was holding. So she's like this. Like, that's what I thought. So I I see her and I just snatch it and like I just put it in my backpack and I was like and she I'm very detailed with my diary very detailed down to my dreams that I'm very detailed when I would write in my diary about my dreams very detailed where it is like at times I wish I wasn't so detailed because I'm just like and if anyone were to read certain things it'd be like damn you were very um I was very sexually active in my mind <laughs> where it, I shared a lot of detail and it was just, it was just a lot. I don't even, I don't even, I, I, I feel like embarrassing even telling y'all that because it was just, it was a lot. And there is a particular dream that I had and it was very detailed and it was in that diary. And so she, brings it up and she kind of like laughs and she's like chill you need to relax and i just look at her i'm like no i don't like why are you reading my stuff and she tells me that her little boy william from junior was going through the backpack and she's seen it and she just opened it and she's like why not like why are you so weird like chill if that was like a movie that i had saw my dream or was like, I really have dreams like that. Cause she's like, that's crazy. Like, why are you dreaming like that? Like, how old are you? And so I'm like embarrassed because I know that she had read it. And it was like very cochina detailed, okay? And like, it's just like, um, it was just, I don't know. So I was just kind of like, she was trying to like, you could tell she felt probably like she like effed up, but at the same time, like, being mean and at the same time it was just like it felt like she was giving me kudos which felt weird because i am a child i am a god i am an angel of god so i just start putting everything in there and tommy is like pretty much looking at tiffany and i'm like like what does she want to apologize for like i already have everything in my bag like what is, like what was it like did something happen you know and I just keep looking at Tommy and Tommy's looking at Tiffany and Tiffany's just looking at her like, um, what? And she's like, why you keep staring at me like that? And then she's like, I thought you said you wanted to say something to Alexis. And she's like, no, mm -mm, no. And just like flaring her nostrils. And I'm just like, okay. And so Tommy tells me like, you can go to the room if you want to go to the room or you can sit here. It was just one of those things where it's like, move, like get out. <laughs> go somewhere you know so i just caught the hint and i'm like okay i was so annoyed that she went through my diary i was so annoyed i was so annoyed that like my 20s were on the floor my clothes the little tube of mascara that i did have the little boy had opened it bent the wand it was just i felt like that is the only thing i had i don't even have a home and the backpack is my house and I felt violated. Like you really just, so I go to the back and I just get ready to like take a shower. I'm like, I need to take a shower. I feel nasty. Uh, I felt like cold. I remember feeling like really, really cold. And when I get this like weird feeling where like my lips and my, my jaw start to like, they start to ch chatter where I feel like very like so many emotions. I don't know what it is. Like I hate when I get like that. I just want to jump in the shower and like have it just burn my skin because I am so cold and I don't want to have that tingling numbing feeling because it just feels horrible. Like you feel like you can't shake out of it. It feels my goosebumps are so intense that when I go like this, they feel like little pimples all over my skin. Like I just wanted to just hurry and like get that feeling away. So as I'm in the room and as like I'm folding my stuff, I just start to cry. And I'm not even crying like like 
whimpering like <laughs> like I just I'm just it's just like tears running down my face and my cheeks get so hot where I feel like the tears like just feel like just and I'm just like folding my stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm just like pissed I'm just pissed and where I'm just like I want my brothers but I know I cannot be with their dad in the same household like I just I just can't god forbid something were to happen my mom's locked up like it really like uh and so I just I just know like I just have to like toughen it out like I know I just have to like buck up and get through it because there's other things that are worse and like other embarrassing stuff that happens so I just need to like just shake it off so as I'm crying feeling like bad for myself the little boy comes in the room and he hands me the broken mascara wand and I grab it from him I'm not nasty with kids okay even though they do something wrong I've never been the one to be mean to a kid like that so I grab it from him and I just close in the tube and like throw it away because he like bent the whole wand like the whole thing was bent back and you know what's so funny I don't know what it was about my mascaras that like little kids liked. When I started dating Rudy, I rented out a room from his sister, okay? And I remember one time me and Rudy, we were out on a day or like I was working or something like that. Ooh, that looks super cute. And we came back and I remember when I opened the door, his nieces didn't know that I was coming home. They probably thought like, oh, it's mom. I opened the door and my nieces were jumping on my blow up bed and they had my makeup that the little compact makeup that I did have and they're like, this was the mascara kid. They were like jumping, jumping, jumping and they just dropped it. And I remember being like, what? <laughs> and then when I told Rudy, Rudy was so cute. He went to the store and he was like, you like this mascara, that mascara. And he kind of like just gave me like a bundle of like makeup and stuff. Like I didn't tell him to, I was just like, it was just one of those things where I was like, <gasps> they were like, what the fuck? Like, it was just, it's just funny. It just reminded me of like little minions. Like at the time it wasn't funny. At the time I was like, why? So yeah, it's just, I don't know what it was about my freaking, my mascara wand or like why it was so cool. But when Rudy's nieces did that too, I just remember that. I just remember being like, what? Like I get chapstick, like when kids do that with chapstick where they like, they wind it all the way up and they just like, eh. but I never understood like why my freaking mascara wand, like why, like what did it do to you? Rudy replaced the makeup that his nieces ruined. The bitch Tiffany was just like, oh well, you don't gotta be wearing makeup anyways. So I grabbed the tube and I put it in the, the garbage because I didn't want to get no freaking pink eye or anything like that. He had like mocos on his little face. And so I was just like, uh-uh, I'm not going to chance it. So I put it in the, the trash can because like it was literally bent and he had used it. So I get ready to get into the shower. I grab my stuff and I'm like, I can't use that underwear because like it was just everywhere was embarrassing. So I ended up folding it up. In a little knot and throwing it in the trash can okay so the underwear already had like a bunch of holes on them you guys like i'm not even joking it was bad so i go in i take my shower and i text tommy i'm like hey you gonna jump in the shower if you need anything i'll be out in a little bit she just replies okay i let her know just in case like any of the kids need to go to the restroom or something like that like she would know like hey Lex is taking a shower or whatever it might be, right? So as I'm taking a shower, I am not taking my sweet time. Like I'm really just like trying to get in and out. And I hear someone trying to like open the freaking door. And so I'm like in here and I'm thinking it's the kids. I'm thinking like, okay, it's probably the kids. They're probably like, you know, just playing around and are like, I need to go restroom or I don't know. So I finish up. Tiffany is changing the baby on the bed. And so I, I don't even say anything. I just, I'm already dressed. I'm gonna put my backpack in the closet. And as she's throwing away the diaper, she goes, are you kidding me? Like that. And I don't even say anything. Cause I'm like, oh, she's not talking to me. Like, I don't even say anything. So I'm like, 
and I'm getting out of the, the room because she's not talking to me. It's not like she's like Alexis or, and I'm not gonna say what, like, because I don't care. I don't care. So she's like, are you kidding me? Like that. So I just put my backpack in the closet, like up high. You know how it has like a shelf usually, you know? I put it up high and I get out and I'm just like, going like that with my hair and I'm walking out and I'm like the little lotion that I have on my my hands I'm just ripping it through I I just hear her, are you effing re so she was saying the hard R and so I stopped midway in the hallway are you talking to me because I don't know who she was talking to I don't like using that word so I'm like are you talking to me and she's like is there another re around and I'm like I, said, I, bitch, I know okay and so i just start walking so i'm like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deal i don't know what's up with tiffany like uh, i'm not trying to get uh, i'm not trying to fight with her so i hurry up and go to the sala where tommy is because i'm like mm -mm, is she gonna get crazy i'd rather it be right here in front of tommy even if i get my ass beat i'd rather tommy witness me getting my ass beat so i go to the sala and i sit right next down to tommy like and pretty quickly too because i'm like oh, this bitch gonna hit me which i don't even know why like i literally was like okay she crazy like she just don't like me you know how there's just like some adults that just don't like a certain kid and you're like it's a child and they're like i don't i don't like that one that's what tiffany was tiffany was just like that so i sit down next to tommy and she just looks at me because it's i was kind of rushing you know and she's like, what's up? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, Tiffany's mad. Tiffany comes out from the side and she's holding the mascara. She's like, look, just because he was playing with it, that little bitch wanted to throw away shit. Dramatic, yo. And Tommy's like, he bent it. So even Tommy knew like, what the like it's not good anymore. She's like, she bent it in like bacteria and stuff. Tiffany is like, don't even be saying stuff like that. That's why these little kids be acting like the way they are. Like that you can, you can still use this. And so I'm like annoyed because I'm like, dude, like it really like you went through the garbage. I hate when people go through the garbage of like stuff that's not theirs. Like, like I really hate it. <sighs> How do I explain it? Okay, we're gonna do a short story time, okay? So one time I lived with somebody and literally anything I threw away, this bitch would go through. I could have like my freaking pads in there in the to in the freaking like a bathroom, like the bathroom garbage bag. She would go through it. And I just, it, ah, it like irked me, like irked me so bad. Like, ah, I hated it. I couldn't throw away anything. Like if I threw away a piece of paper, she would be like, look what I found in the garbage. And like, it was just like weird. Like, ah, I, I just didn't like it. Like it felt like, I get it. Like if I were to throw away, like people, when they like, you throw away stuff and they try to find like, okay, like goods or something, you know? But when it's just like, you're just being nosy just to be nosy. Like that's the stuff I don't like. Like just weird and I've had that happen a few times and it would happen to my mom a lot too like when my mom would throw stuff out because my mom would throw out like sometimes like good stuff that other people would be like oh we can use it so it just really weirded me out that she went through the garbage but at the same time it wasn't like the garbage was full she was throwing away the diaper it was just annoying I was just annoyed I just didn't like Tiffany so I was like then keep it Tiffany if like that's what it is just keep it and she's like I will you tripping and it puts it in her back pocket and i'm like you should have just said that it would have been less pathetic if you would have just kept thing and not do the whole hula hula like <sighs> tommy decides to like change the show and she puts something on and tiffany's just standing just standing and it's just like one of those things like me and tommy both kept looking at her and i'm thinking in my head like why the f is tiffany he's still here like she don't live here even though it's not my house i'm just like what like what's going on like why is she still here? You don't even go here. So it was just, it was like weird. Like she was just standing, like sit down. There was enough, there was enough for she could sit down. There's couch here, it's couch here. Me and Tommy were here. So I'm like, does she want to sit next to Tommy? Like what's going on? Like, why are you being so weird? So it gets like really uncomfortable to the point where like, I just get up. I'm like, I'm gonna get up. So I get up and I go to the kitchen so I can start washing dishes tommy didn't tell me tommy didn't have to tell me i just did it i just did it because i'm staying there and i've always been taught to help out whether you're staying there or not if the garbage needs to be thrown out and you're there just throw it out just throw it out just do it if you see something on the floor pick it up 
have to be told to do it. We just did it. So I just go in and I just start washing the dishes. Tommy doesn't say anything about it. It's Tiffany that has to say something about it. And she's like, what is she doing? Like, why, why is she washing the dishes? Like, we're not watching the show. And so Tommy's like, I can just turn it up. Like, you're just tripping. Like, you just don't like the kid. She didn't. She didn't. So that's why she was just being that way. And that's what makes me, like, sad, too, where I'm like, I didn't even do nothing to this dusty, crusty bitch. She just didn't like me. Like, it was just weird. She was really mad that I didn't want to watch her kid. So she was, like, not letting it go. And I was told, too, that I just have that face that you just want to, like, punch. And I'd be like, okay, whatever, bitch, whatever whatever tommy turns it up and it's not even like dramatic how she turned it up it was just a little bit and tiffany was like hey i i'm my name is not hey so i didn't respond i kept washing dishes and then i hear hey tommy's like alexis oh yeah so i turned off the water it wasn't even like i was doing a dramatic y'all and i'm not even joking it wasn't like if i was doing dramatic where it was like up high or anything like that it was just like very like low like very very low she tells me can you come here and i'm like yeah as i'm going over there I'm, and i look at tiffany and she's like you didn't hear me call you and so it's really it was really hard for me guys i was like no she's like you didn't hear me say hey and i was like no even though yes i did yes i did but my name's not hey and i just kept thinking like what like what is up with you dude like i didn't even do anything to you and it's like, I really hate saying like, oh, like poor, poor, poor me. But like, I really was just confused as to like why she had such an attitude with me when I didn't do anything to her. Honestly, like the only thing I didn't, I did was I didn't watch her kid. I didn't want to watch her kid. And so she asks me that like, don't I think it's rude me washing the dishes while they're trying to watch a show. And I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't think it was like, oh, yeah, you're sorry. And I was like, yeah. Tommy then wants to be like, hey, like, knock it off, you Like, she ain't even doing nothing. Like, why you have so much attitude with her? And then she's like, no, because, you know, she's just one of those. Like, one of those me just in class. <sighs> and so I'm like, all right, like, my bad. Like, I'll do that one, like, once you leave. And then she's like, what makes you think I'm going to be leaving? And I'm like, no, like, I just, I was like, my bad. And I just stay quiet, okay, because I'm just like, I go to the room after, you know, I apologize. I go to the room and I just start picking up the room. As I'm picking up, my phone rings and it's a call from my mom. My mom's asking like how everything is. My mom goes up and down. So sometimes I can just tell by like how she sounds if she's doing better or if she's not. She was on a low. So she was sounding pretty like sad. And she was like telling me that when she gets out, things are gonna be better and she was sounding pretty pretty good but at the same time she was kind of sounding not so good like she was still not all the way done of like messing stuff up so she's asking me like how's everything and i tell my mom i was gonna say her name i always want to say that bitch's name i was like tommy has a friend over here and like she kind of mean my mom's like why and so i'm explaining to my mom my mom's like what the and I'm like, yeah, like, I don't know what the heck, like, so I'm explaining to my mom, like, everything that had happened. My mom doesn't seem too happy about all of it. And so she's like, just stay out of her way. Just wait till she leaves. I will. And so my mom's like, let me talk to Tommy. So I get out of the room and I'm walking out and I tell Tommy, like, hey, my mom's on the phone. And she is like, let me see it. So I give it to her and she's talking to her. And thank goodness my mom didn't say nothing, which I think because my mom knew too, like, things would have gone left because like who knows what have happened right tiffany's like who's that on the phone to like to me because i passed the phone even though she heard me say like it's my mom so i'm like oh it's my mom and then she's like mm, like that and so i'm like you know just quiet and she probably thought like oh cool like i tamed this little squink line like now she's quiet now she's like talking to me respectfully but it was just like so weird like i don't know why people feel the need to like do that like be really rude like it wasn't like if i was being like disrespect i didn't want i just didn't want to watch your kid <laughs> so i just didn't understand i just felt like there were so many like baltimore's where it was so weird she gets off the phone with my mom i tell my mom like i love her my mom just tells me like just to stay out of that 
that girl's way and stuff that like she don't even like know why she's tripping and everything that it's just one of those things where she probably thinks that like i'm being a little mucosa and i'm like okay and so tell her i love her bye all that I go back into the room and i'm just like on my phone there's no mess or anything like that like i'm just chilling like i'm just on my phone tommy comes in and she asks me like what am i gonna do if i have any plans and i'm like no like i don't i don't have any plans to do anything in the back of my head, I'm like, she's gonna ask you to babysit those kids. She's gonna ask me to babysit those kids. All right, well, I'm gonna need you to watch the, the young one out there and the, the older one too. Like, she's gonna be right there if you need anything, but she shouldn't be in any trouble. I make a face because I'm, I am kind of like, I don't wanna watch that Tiffany girl's kids. Like, ugh. It was just, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna do it. And it wasn't even like Tiffany asking me, it was, freaking tommy which it was just like oh, i was just so freaking weirded out i'm like oh my god so i'm like okay and then she's like all right it's gonna be a problem or anything and i'm like mm -mm. so i go out to the sala so i go out there and she's just looking at me and she's like flipping through the channel and tiffany's talking to her telling her that like, she better not give me a hard time and that if we need anything we can get a hold of her by calling tommy and that they're gonna be a while and to just listen and she puts the baby's backpack right there so they leave and the girl's like telling me and stuff that like they're not gonna come back until tomorrow she's like you know they're not gonna come back till tomorrow right and i'm like i don't is that what she said and then she's like this is what she always does and then i'm like mm, what a nice mom and then i was just being a bitch because i was like oh what a nice mom and then she's like yeah but at least mine's here i said ditto and so we were just sitting in quiet. The baby ends up passing out. It goes to sleep. I go lay him down. I get a message from Skiller. She's asking me what I'm doing. I'm explaining to her what happened. She's like, dude, that is so crazy. I cannot. I was like, dude, I know. Like, I have to. Like, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in trouble. Like, and my mom told me like to listen and do what I have to. So, and then she's like, well, can I come over? And I was like, mm, let me text Tommy first. Like, I don't want you just to come through and then me get in trouble. She's like, valid. So then I text Tommy and I'm like, hey, is it okay if Skyla comes over? And she's like, yeah, I just don't want, you know, us getting crazy or anything like that. How's the baby doing? Tiffany didn't even check in on the baby. It was Tommy or for me to give like them updates. Like they just did not care like at all. Skyla ends up coming over and the other teen, she just like kind of just like looking at us like oh, all annoyed. Me and Skillet, we smoke. Okay. We smoke cigarettes and we're just those little squeak glass that do that i don't know why this girl thought like we were gonna be cool with her and she was gonna be like oh yeah me too yeah she thought as we go outside to have a smoke she tries to come outside too and i'm like what are you doing and she's like um gonna have a cigarette i really hate when people like want to have an attitude like if you're stupid like okay where and so i'm like uh i'm not gonna give you one and she's like why not like all mad i'm like because i'm not like you're you're tripping like we're not friends we're not cool like your mom told me to watch you and that was it. Like, she's like, you're annoying. So she goes back inside. I'm outside with Skillet and Skillet was like, you could have just gave her one. And I'm like, no dude, like, no, <laughs> just no. Like that's no. So we're just like getting sentimental talking about stuff. And I'm like telling that her, like they went through my diary. And she's like, what do you have in your diary? That's like really bad. Like, do you got like passwords or something? And I'm like, no, it's just like the whole thing of like, and I was telling her about the dream that I had. And she's like, what the fuck? And I was like, I know, like, I didn't even know what was a thing. Like, I thought boys just had dreams like this. And she's like, mm. So we're like talking about it and we're finishing up. And as we're going inside, Tiffany Jr. has the baby. And I'm like, he was crying because I didn't even, he like we were right there. And she's like, no, I went and got him. And I'm like, for what? Like he was sleeping. And she's like, why not? He's my brother. Oh, okay. And so he's just like, like that. Like he's literally like, he's like tired. Like poor baby didn't even want to be there. He was just like, like that. And so I go and grab him from her. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm going to go lay him down. Like, what are you doing? So we're kind of going back and forth and Skillet's like, Alexis, just leave it. And I'm like, no, like he look at his neck. Like what the heck? Like, no. And she's like, okay, so like you're not his mom. Like that's his sister. He's good. I don't care. Uh, so I grab him and I go and lay him back down because like she was just doing the most. She was just being a little weirdo. Like, you know, like one of those kids that just go and do something just to do it because they feel left out or I don't know. And it wasn't up to me. I could have been a little bit nicer to her, but like, I didn't, I, I didn't care. I didn't care. 
I go and lay him down and I take a minute because like I'm putting him back to sleep. He wasn't like fully awake. He was just like, eh. and so I went to go lay him back. Tommy messages me and she tells me that their dad is going to pick them up. And I'm like, uh, okay, does he, you know, know where we're at and stuff? And she's like, yeah, he's gonna go pick them up. I kind of give Tommy a hard time because I'm very scared. I'm very like scared with things like that where I feel like what if something bad happens? What if that's not even their dad and he kidnaps them? And I just start being like, well, can you guys just come back and he can just pick up the baby and then you guys can just go back out. And she's like, Alexis, like stop. Like I'm telling you, he's gonna go pick up the baby because me and Tiffany are gonna stay out longer. Like he wanted to pick up the kids. Like he didn't want them to stay out any later. He was pissed that he found out that like I was watching them. He's like, I don't know who that person is. Like what if, you know, this and that. So he wanted to pick up the babies and I'm like, because it's a it's a male Gillett is like Alexis, don't freak out we have knives like it's it's good like chill and i'm like no like i don't get it like why can't they just come back already like it was late y'all like it was late it was like one in the morning it was super late they had been gone like such a long time where like i was like don't the clubs close like don't you like aren't you guys gonna ever come back because like of how late it was and she was getting upset with me because she was like, I don't got to explain myself to you, which she doesn't. She doesn't got to explain herself to me at all, but I have this person's kids. She don't even, how does she know I was going to even be nice to her kids? Like, I cannot believe she was like, yeah, I'm going to leave them. I don't know why people are like that. Don't leave your kids with somebody that you don't like, even though like I was nice. What if I wasn't? Like, it really trips me out. Like, I'm always like, what if I wasn't? Like, honestly, like, what if I wasn't and I was mean no what if i let the baby cry what if i didn't change the baby what if i was mean so she like tells me to like knock it off skillet's trying to calm me down and she's like let's just quit like what do you think is honestly gonna happen i'm like i don't know like what if this what if th i'm always thinking like lifetime movie stuff in my head right so i start getting the little baby ready and i tell the the teenager i'm like your dad's not gonna be she's like, i know and i'm like okay you little bitch okay she's talking to her dad on the phone and she's like yeah yeah i don't know it's tommy's friend yeah she's watching us yeah yeah we're right and so she's like pretty much like feeling a man like yeah she cool she all right she 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 okay yeah she was changing them so he was probably like asking her like she changed the baby in this and that and she's like just filling her dad in like yeah uh-huh uh-huh yeah no i don't think so and so like that kind of stuff time passes and her dad shows up he knocks on the door and i'm like who is it like and i'm scared you guys like i'm literally scared which i don't even know why i'm just such a freaking like i get scared it's my dad and so i'm like okay so i open the door and remember when i told y'all that cochinos aren't always fails well it was that situation okay tied it up from the neck down eyebrow had a slit in it really chiseled jaw and me and skillet were both like that show that this show dad because it was just i w wasn't what i was expecting it wasn't what i was expecting kind of laughs and like works his way in and he's like yeah and like closes the door behind him skillet over there like cleaning off like the couch making her making room from him and i'm like oh i didn't i didn't know and he was like yeah i know like that and when you're young you're dumb and you don't think like nope Nope, nope. He starts talking to us and he's like, so what y'all doing? And he like grabs his baby and we're like, oh, just, just chilling, just hanging out, you know, like stupid. And he's like, oh yeah. So like, how long have you been, you know, watching the babies? And I was like, uh, we've been watching your kids for, and I tell him like, how long it's been. It's been a long, it's been a long minute. And he's like, oh, okay. All right. We look older than we were. Okay. We looked older than what we were. We were always told that. Did it make it right? No, it didn't. But I'm trying to give you more context. Like, we looked older than what we were. He said that we looked familiar. We knew so-and-so, and we did. And we're like, oh, yeah, we know him. Like, yeah. And then Skillet takes over the conversation, and she's like, yeah, we just went to a kickback not that long ago. So I think he was trying to establish, like, how old we were and, like, if we we're hanging around like the same people. Especially Skillet, she would hang out with older gentlemen. So I think he was trying to establish like, okay, he didn't come out and say like, oh, are y'all 
over 18, he was just talking and he's like, so how do you know Tommy? And I'm like, oh, that's my mom's best friend. And then he was like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, that's my mom. He was like, oh, for real? And then I was like, yeah, he's like, isn't she like walked up right now? I'm like, yeah, I messed up. I don't know why I even said that. Like, I'm usually like, oh, like I have a mom and dad, but I got too comfortable in the conversation. So I'm like, yeah, and then I stopped and then right away, like my my social media went down because I was like, oh my God, he's gonna kill us now. He's gonna kill us now. So I'm like freaking out. And so Skillet can see it. So she grabs my hand. He looks at both of us and he sees that she grabs my hand. He's like, all right, all right, I dig that, I dig that. I didn't even care if he dig that or not. I was just like, uh-huh, like, uh-huh. And so he grabs he grabs his kids and grabs a diaper bag and he was like, all right, do you know when they're gonna be back? And I'm like, yeah, she said she's not gonna be that long that to let her know once you pick up the baby. And he's like, okay. I knew to say something like that just in case he was like, I'm gonna circle back and hurt y'all or whatever, you know? Even though he was cute, I was still like red alert, red alert. And I had just said that my mom was locked up. So I was even like freaking out more. His daughter was already like out the door. She was like over it. She was like, mm -mm. she probably got that a lot. You know how like if you're your mom and dad, if they're cute, they probably get like, oh my God, like all the time. It She kind of like had that attitude like, oh he leaves and i'm like freaking out i'm like dude i messed up and then she's like i know as soon as you said it i was like why did she say that and so i'm like i know i know i could have just been like no she got out i'm overthinking it i don't know how to explain to you guys when you have like anxiety like this it's not easy just to come down from it like it's not i don't care if you think like there's a magic word no, it's like really hard to come down from it. It's really hard. Like it's really, really hard. I know people are like touch five things, seeing that I can't. So I'm like freaking out. I don't know why, like he seemed like a nice gentleman, but I was still like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like what I just said was like a no, no. Even though we were like, you find this. We were still, I was still like, Skillet's like trying to calm me down. Like Alexis, it's going to be fine. Like Alexis, it's going to be fine. I'm like, no dude, like what if this, like what if that? Like it's not just because like, I think I'm cute or something or like, what if they like we're alone in this apartment? And like, I don't know why I wasn't freaking out before. Like you were alone when you had babies. Like why are you freaking out so hard now? It's just one of those things where it literally feels like a light switch where someone just like turns it on. And you're like, what? I wanna go back to like five, 10 seconds ago. I wanna go back to me just feeling normal, not freaking out, like take me back, take me back. It's like when, if you've ever done like edibles or something like that and you are trying to talk yourself down cause you're so freaking high, but you can't, like, you know, you have to, you have to ride that wave because it, you can't just be like, okay, I'm okay. It, it doesn't work that way. So whenever you see someone or someone's like freaking out or something like that, like please refrain from saying like, when you're like so sad and like, just be happy. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna go do that because I totally forgot that like I just got to say those magic words It doesn't work that way. So I'm having like a full-blown panic attack and I cannot calm down. I'm like uh, Freaking out it gets like really bad where skillet messages Tommy and she's like, hey, you're gonna have to come back home. Like Lex is freaking out. I don't know what's going on I don't know how to help her and Tommy is like, well, we're not ready to go home yet What's wrong or what the dad picked up the kids and Lex just like freaked out because she told him that her mom Her mom was still locked up and then she's like, yeah, so what like everyone knows she's like, I don't know She's like freaking out. It was getting really bad. Like I couldn't even breathe. I was crying I just remember Skillet trying to like hold me and I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm just crying. I'm crying. I'm like scared. I'm thinking like, I'm going to get, I'm, I think I'm gonna, like, I'm going to get art. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, I'm like freaking out. She's like, Alexis, all the doors are locked. Like this right here is locked. And we're like on the third floor and I'm like, like freaking out. I'm like, what does someone else like? And the house felt like it was so quiet where I'm like, what if there's people who are listening? Like, and they can hear us right now. It was my anxiety playing tricks on me and it was like so bad you guys because I could not calm down even though I was talking to myself in my head where I'm like hey it's okay like no one's gonna do that come on now like you'll be fine there's times where you have been home alone by yourself but again like I'm telling you guys it's really hard to come back down to reality it is super hard to come back down to reality sometimes because it takes a toll on you mentally and you already know that like 
you can calm yourself down in a way so your body's like nope psych not today and so it's just a constant like mind thing i start crying and i'm like i want my mom i want my mom and skillet's like jade like it's gonna be okay like what's wrong and like she, i just remember her like babying the hell out of me and i'm like <laughs> i triggered myself and i could not untrigger myself i just remember really thinking i felt guilty thinking that like that grown ass man was attractive and i felt guilty thinking that like oh my god now something bad's gonna happen and if like you do get hard it's your fault because you thought he was cute so i was like dealing with like feeling all these emotions and i didn't know how to deal with them at once and i was just like <sighs> like freaking out i didn't even think like hey call bubbles i wasn't even thinking like hey call joe or hey call the ex or i wasn't thinking of like people that i could have called and like probably gone with them and be with their family even if we were like mad at each other i didn't even think about that i was just thinking like me and skiller are on this island by ourselves and i put our i put us in danger i put us in danger and the boat is going to sh like to sink like I, I that's how i felt skillet tells tommy like hey you need to come home and tommy's like literally going back and forth with her and i feel so bad that i'm ruining her fun because that's pretty much what she told skillet like tell lex to suck it up she wants to act like a little badass all the time. She'll be fine. She's gonna ruin my night. I did not care. I was so scared. I, uh, uh, that's it, like I'm, I'm scared. So Tommy calls and Skayla answers and she's like, let me talk to Alexis. She's talking to me on the phone and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know, like I just feel really scared. And she's like, why do you feel scared? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't, I honestly did not know how to bring myself out of it, you guys. I kept apologizing and she kept telling me like, stop saying that you're sorry. I just need you to knock it off. Do you hear me? Knock it off. And so I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And so she's like telling me that she's not gonna come back until later, that nothing's going to happen, that there's a lot of people that are in this complex that like, I am just overthinking it not to worry. And I'm just like, okay 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 and she's just like do you hear me and i'm like yes yes like you know and i'm apologizing because i feel bad i feel bad that she sounds irritated and it sounds like i ruined her night and i feel like a little kid all over again like i feel like a little child where i'm like i can't snap out of it so we hang up the phone and skillet is like let's just watch something funny and we'll put the chairs in front of the door like we'll be we'll be okay and i'm like okay so shout out to skillet because even though she had her flaws sometimes she was a real one so we're sitting on the couch and I am still like trying my hardest to kind of fake it. Like I keep trying to like snap out of it and just like be normal again. Like I'm hoping like we keep talking, I'm just going to just snap back into just being myself again and I'll be okay. So we're watching TV and we hear a freaking knock at the door and we both scream. We both scream because it caught us off guard and we're like, ah! so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, Skillet goes to the door and she looks at the peephole and it is the dad of the girls. And she's like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, we need the bottle. Like we left the bottle. Like you only have one bottle. And she's like, oh, well, we can't open the door. Tommy told us that we can't open the door. And he was like, can you just give it to me like real quick? Like he won't stop crying. So Skillet opens the door and literally like just chucks it in between and like slams the door and locks it. And he's like, all right, thanks. It could have been something innocent. We could have just like read too much into it, all of that. But when Skillet seen that, she was like, uh, yeah. And just gets closer to me. And she's like telling me like you think like he just came back from the bottle and I'm like, yeah, like yeah I, I just think like I'm just overthinking it and uh, You guys like he didn't come back at all after that But I think it was just like one of those coincidences. It really just set off my anxiety even more Because I was like You're, you weren't wrong. You weren't wrong. He did come back. You weren't wrong Like what are the odds of him actually coming back? Because of the bottle, you know, so even though I was now trying to calm down skillet i was like like he came back he came back like i knew it like he came back because he he knows that my mom's not here like he came back and so i was calming her down and like weird enough it brought my anxiety down that she was freaking out so i was like now i gotta take care of her so we were just trying to distract each other and it got to the point where we we blinked and it was now next day and we woke up and the chairs are still in front of the door 
and Tommy was not home yet. So I was like, this bitch, because she knew that I was scared and she really decided not to come home. So I was like, F her, F her. Like as soon as I got up, I was like, really Jade, you're gonna choose violence? But I was really disappointed because I was like, I was full on crying to her and she thinks like I'm some sort of like little badass and she really like did not care enough to like come home. So I was really shook you guys. Like I honestly to God was like, she didn't come home like at all, like at all. So don't always trust someone with your kids because that, I don't know, like it really was like, I was like shocked and I was so mad for so long about it because I'm very, very rarely, very like vulnerable, vulnerable. Como se dice? Like when you're like, it's very, very rare that I put my guard down. So for her, like me, for, for me to put my guard down and I expected her to be like in a, like to take care of me like an adult, but it wasn't her responsibility. I get that. I get that. Okay. Like I get that. Like before you tell me like it wasn't her responsibility jade to like stop having friends i get that but i just thought like she cared about me enough because she was there for like she's still in our lives okay where i thought she would have cared you know what i mean so i wake up and i'm like so i'm mad at her right so i'm like okay 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 okay. i woke up scaly i'm like hey get up she's like huh I'm like what's going on and i'm like she didn't come home. She didn't come home. And Skilla's kind of just looking at me and she's like, mm, babe, like, why do you care? And I'm like, I just do. I don't know. I just do. I just, I just do. So we get to like moving the chairs back away from the door, cleaning up a little bit since we like, you know, we had some popcorn and all that stuff. Start cleaning up, making sure that we don't leave anything that like's not supposed to be there, any of that. So we're cleaning up. And as we're cleaning up, I hear... And I don't even think like, oh, it could be Tommy. I just hear like a knock and I'm like, so I'm like, yes. And then it's Tommy. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I go open the door and Tommy just looks like she's been through it. Just like through it. So I'm like opening the door and I'm just like staring at her. Like if I got, I got some nerve, I got some nerve. And I'm just like looking at her and she's walking through the door and she's like, you guys hungry? And I'm like, mm-hmm, I could eat, sure. So she has like a bag with her. She has bettles and I'm like, <laughs> I can have me some carne asada fries with some avocado on the side. So we sit down and we're eating and she doesn't have Tiffany with her. And so I'm like, where's Tiffany? And she's like, I don't know. She just left. Okay, trying to be a cheese mosaic. like, I wanna know some details. I'm like, did you guys fight or something? And then she's like, yeah, I just don't wanna talk about it. And I'm like, okay. We get to eating and I'm just like pretty much telling her that like, yeah, sorry for freaking out yesterday. And she's like, oh yeah, like about that. Like, why did you freak out like that? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just got scared. So I'm like trying to explain to her my feelings and I'm apologizing because she told me that it was a kind of like a damper on her night that like she didn't really get to have like a lot of fun because she was just like thinking about me. And in the back of my head, I'm like, really? Like, did I really put a damper on your night? Because if it really was like, oh, I ruined it, then you think like your ass would have came home, but okay, whatever. So I'm like, you know, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like it won't happen again. And then she's like, Alexis, it better not because like you're too big. You're too big to be throwing like your little fits like that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I was just like really scared. She's like, and did you see nothing happened? I'm like, yeah, I know. Like nothing happened. I know. <sighs> Looking back, I would never make a child feel like that. Ever, 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 ever. And maybe because it's my own son, but when Elijah was going through like a hard time and like anxiety was hitting him and he was just like, mom, I don't know why I feel like this. Like, I don't know what's going on. I comforted him, okay? I didn't make him feel like, don't act like this. This is a no-no. Like she, all, all she had to do was put her finger in my face. <sighs> I think about like a lot of the moments like that whenever I like was scared and I didn't know like what was going on or anything like that. I feel like I was scolded a lot because I was the oldest, I knew better and where I had such like a cabrona attitude that like I, I wasn't supposed to feel that way. I wasn't supposed to be scared. I wasn't supposed to show any emotion. And if I could hang and kick it with her, then I should have been able to like put my feelings to the side. And that was that. So I just have, a, I just like apologized, like extremely heavy. And I was like, I'm sorry. 
like i'm very sorry she ends up just taking a nap and just like sleeps off the rest of like you know her being like drunk whatever tipsy hungover tiffany comes later on i open the door tiffany's like where's tommy and i'm like uh she's in the back she's sleeping like do you want me to go get her she's like yeah go get her right now and i'm like okay so i go and wake up tommy i'm like hey tommy like tiffany's here when i told her tiffany was here she like moved like in a quick quickness like she was like what the fuck? she's like why'd you let her in i was like she's still at the door like i didn't let her in like she just told me to come get you she's like okay okay tell her i'm asleep i'm like i did and she told me to come get you like do you want me to go tell her that like i couldn't wake you up and like you're tired and she's like uh-huh so I go back and I'm like, hey, Tiffany, like she's still sleeping. And she's like, no, go wake her ass up right now. Go wake her up. And I'm like, um, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. She's, and Skillet's still with me, okay? I was like, she's tired. And so Skillet comes behind me and puts her hand by the door. And she's like, she's sleeping. Like she's out. Like she's tired. Like she had a long night. And she's like, yeah, I know. That bitch left me. That bitch left me. So I'm going to end it there. <laughs> and I'll make sure to update you guys very, very soon. If you guys are enjoying these story times, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep updating my videos. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It seriously means so much to me. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys like today's look. It was something new and I really like how it came out, you guys. I feel like I really got to step out of my comfort zone. I think it was really cute. And these were only... A book so if you guys are interested in creating like this look definitely try it out you guys I feel like sometimes we get scared and if, if it didn't come out that's fine makeup remover baby and it's all off but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please again thumbs up it helps me out a lot it helps me out a lot I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next story time bye